34-year-old Darren Wint did not act alone in the grisly quadruple homicide, according to newly released court records. Wint, who was seen here handcuffed and wearing a black hooded sweatshirt, was taken into custody in Washington, D.C. Thursday night following a massive multi-state manhunt. We tracked him up to uh, New York City and we barely missed him. Law enforcement sources say it's believed Wint fled the D.C. area following the quadruple murder and was hiding in his girlfriend's New York City apartments since Sunday, eventually making his way back to the nation's capital. Wint was found traveling in a white Chevy Cruze with three other women, along with two men in this moving truck. One of the men is Wint's brother. Authorities recovered $10,000 of cash from the group, according to documents. We followed them for about four or five miles, and they did a, a wacky U-turn. We thought maybe they thought we, they were being tailed. Uh, we followed them. We continued to follow them. We called PG County Police, and they sent up a helicopter. We got to a situation where we could uh, successfully take them down, and we did our standard practiced vehicle pin maneuver, and we were able to safely pin the vehicles, both vehicles, and, and, uh, and place them under arrest. Tonight, investigators are looking at what role the group may have played with the brutal killings of a wealthy D.C. couple, their 10-year-old son and housekeeper, after being held hostage overnight. You don't have to spend multiple hours, 8, 9, 10 hours in someone's home to um, extort money. And in this case, I'm very certain that the father would have given the offender 10 times $40,000 just to get him out of the house. Records show the 10-year-old boy was found burned with stab wounds. Fire accelerant was found in the room. Before the fire, two Domino's pizzas were ordered to the home by Mrs. Savalopoulos. She instructed the delivery person to leave the food on the porch, ring the doorbell, and leave according to these documents. DNA found on the pizza crust led authorities to Went. D.C. police say Went worked at the Savopoulos family business, American Iron Works, in the past. Went has had numerous run-ins with police, including for allegations of domestic violence, assault, and theft. The latest gruesome accusations now have Darren Went off the streets, but police are now looking for more suspects. Our Official I spoke with today says that no charges have been filed against the five people who were taken into custody with Darren Went last night and no additional arrests have been made, but Jake, I'm told it is still a very active investigation.